So supposedly there's structural issues that were written in the comments of the MLS. Um, I'm gonna try and take a peek down in that treacherous basement here in a minute and uh, see what that's really about. Just hit a button, Morty, give me a beat. Oh man, okay, all right, um. Free, 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 free my soul. Just let it go. I wanna roam on my own. Just let it go. Free my soul. Just let it go. I cause a storm. When I'm at home, just let it go. Sick in the sea, I don't know what this means. Spill me a liquor all over my jeans. Who would've known I'd be battling a fiend? Is this my fate in this hip hop scene? High like a kite, but I'm down on my knees. Battling enemies of my nightmare dreams. Open my eyes as the stare at screens. Hope in my lies, I believe by machines. Know when my crowds are played back scenes. No one feeling that pain that proceeds. Killing or murder don't make me better. Teenage mutant, I'm more like Shredder. Cheese in my pocket, I call that cheddar. Nine in my waist, I call a go getter. I cut the string. Um, what I'm looking at you now is I'm gonna look for the structural stuff because that's gonna be the key component for me to decide whether or not it needs to be torn down. A lot of this is really just interior remodel, you know, simple construction for the most part. Um, if we were to keep everything as far as the house goes and just gut it and remodel it. Um, so my key component for deciding if this is gonna be a tear down or not is gonna be a structural scenario. So I need to look at all signs of shifting movement and things that cannot be repaired at a value that makes sense to keep the house. Um, so I'm gonna start looking around and I'm seeing things as I'm talking on the camera about stuff that needs to be really addressed. And I'm gonna start looking at why it's happening as far as movement um, and then go from there because that's gonna determine a cost for me to repair versus tear down. But some things to look at for you guys that really even have to have building experience or a general contractor's license or being a structural engineer or anything. If you see cracking at corners where door jams and windows are that run into the corners, okay? See how this is being pulled away from the window and you're cracking down here. And then you can see where there's a gap from subfloor to trim. You can see that's a pretty hefty gap. Just standing here, you can feel how the house has moved down this way, but that doesn't necessarily mean it's, it's you know, the house is destroyed, it's over. A lot of that can come from Many, many, many issues um, that are less scary than they look. Like I said, you want to be looking for this type of cracking. And this is a sign of structural issues from minor to severe. You just want to know what the heck is going on and how do I fix it? And then the rest of this is going to be cosmetic once the structural components are addressed. Okay, so I'm going to continue to walk through here. All right, so we're in the crawl space now. Um, so this is all concrete block. This is concrete masonry units or CMU wall. And this was, some of this was been, has been repaired. Um, this was all part of the original foundation as far as I can tell. And there's been some alterations made to it on some level. What I'm trying to do actually is I'm looking down in every aspect of the crawl space and I'm looking at all the exterior, what are called stem walls, which is the walls that sit on the footing for the foundation components, okay? And I'm looking for any sort of similar cracking that happens that we that we saw upstairs. So as far as I can tell so far, I don't see as much down here. That makes me a little more optimistic if we were to try and keep this house and just renovate it. And as far as I can tell, honestly, based on the way this house was constructed, I'm seeing hydrostatic pressure as some of the main reason for this house shifting the way it is. Um, you guys don't need to worry about the way that is, but that's basically um, just drainage issues, to be honest with you. And, you know, again, in Colorado, we've got um, different kinds of moisture that come through here in the winter. We get snow um, and when water gets in and around the stem walls and the footings, it can it can shift and move things with temperature changes. So um, that's kind of what I'm assessing at this point. I'd still get my engineer in here because that's what he does. That's what he's licensed to do. He certainly has a lot more knowledge in that aspect of everything structurally than I do. But again, you know, we're looking for these kinds of signs. This is more than just drywall and plaster cracking. This is setting up um, basically at the base of the rafters and the cords on the rafters. This is pulling away at 
a load wall. This is a wall that's actually picking up the middle span of the house. And that carries all the way down to the basement where that concrete masonry unit wall was. So that's this is a load wall and the load wall has cracks in it then you've got a lot of movement coming from roof down as well. And again, it's a one story, small little house. I think it's about 780 square feet. So um, that's kind of how you assess a house like this. This is more of an extreme circumstance, but at the same time, sometimes these are easier if you can make the big boy problems go away, i.e. structural. Um, you can get back into just budgeting to tear the, everything out of here and start over. Uh, hopefully this is helpful for you guys. Don't forget, if you haven't, subscribe to the channel. Please helps us out, get us more information out as, as, to as many people as possible. Hit the like button on your way out. Leave comments, questions in the comment section below. Um, check out the other videos and uh, we're on to the next one. Yo, listen. Came to America, real youngster, learn from the OG's true gangsters. Mistakes I made never gave real answers. Then the problems came along, disaster. Had strapped for what came after. Saw my brothers close like.